everybody welcome and or welcome back to my channel my name is Lady Catherine this is Lacey's movies and we are back with the next episode of Young Justice last week we found out there is an imposter amongst us Blue Beetle has actually been activated by Green Beetle who is in fact working with Black Beetle point is none of the Beetles are on humanity's side Poor Jaime, he's stuck in his little metal box of evil. Yeah, the runaways have been manipulated by Lex Luthor um, into assisting him in some not explained plan. Maybe just back up everyone likes having, a, you know, some supers at your disposal, basically. Uh, he's convinced them that he's not actually aligned with the Reach, which I feel like they're smarter than that. But we move on. And uh, this episode is called War. So I figure some things will be coming to a head. I'm curious, speaking of heads, if we're going to see Calder again, where he's at, is he recovered? Are we going to move on to the next step of the now that we fixed him, we need to get McGann out of here alive plan? Will I be forced to be nice to her this episode? These are all the questions I know we all want the answers to. So I'm going to stop talking. Let's get started. <laughs> That's the planet where they're having the trial, right? But I can only repeat again what we have said all along. The Justice League never meant to attack Rimbo. Forgive us, Superman. If we who represent the polyglotcher of Rimbo find that oh, no. difficult to swallow... Why does this trial continue? Surely the bribes have changed hands by now. Inexplicably, the defendants have refused to pay. These Earthlings are savages. <laughs> Oh my god! They're like, we don't understand how this- why is this trial lasting so long? Which is the same question I asked. Because they're just holding out until they get Named paid. Vandal Savage. Why would one savage do that to another? The Reach is on Earth! At least someone is taking control of that rogue planet. <laughs> the Reach? They gain too much influence throughout the galaxy. What is the Reach? Millennia ago, they were conquerors. And it took the entire Green Lantern Corps to check their advance. That led to a treaty signed with the Guardians of the Universe. I'm super. I think this is such a well-timed episode. Because I literally just like, I've reached that point where I kept being like, no where is the League? How long is this going to take? Ever. Ooh. There's a backstory with the Green Lanterns. Does that not have long-term implications for who rules the galaxy? <sighs> oh, oh, gosh. So are now like enemies of the Reach gonna be like, we can't let them take Earth because of the many human potential. Oh, hello. What a twist. Um, <laughs> I'm, I totally lost my train of thought now. Why is Vandal Savage there? He's just there? I mean, I guess they didn't take attendance for the superhuman trial, but a human by the name of Vandal Savage mind controlled us into doing all of this horrible damage. He right there. It's on a direct course for Earth. And it's about to pass in front of Rhea, one of the moons of Saturn. That thing, whatever it is, is huge. Can Green Lantern not, like, not Green Lantern, Jesus Christ. Uh, Martian Manhunter, John Jones, can he, like, sense brains? I feel like I would be keeping an eye out for enemy brains. And Vandal Savage seems like a number one enemy brain. You are therefore breaching Reach territory. Reverse oh, course. Request denied. It is because the Reach is on Earth that I am here. My scarab has accessed the Reach's database for intelligence on the approaching threat. It is called the War World. A massive artificial satellite, slightly smaller than Earth's moon. It is a mobile doomsday weapon, created millennia ago. This is the plot of Moonfall, by the way. Like, if anyone hasn't seen it, sorry for the spoilers, but the moon isn't real. The war world was reactivated by a crystal key, long thought lost. Mongol now sits at the war world's helm, which receives and transmits his every thought, allowing him to control all of the war world's functions. So, I'm like, is he gonna try to destroy Earth because the Reach is there? Or it'd be interesting if he was just like, hey guys, just so you know, the Reach sucks. But unlikely he's gonna take the more diplomatic approach. A tyrant and is determined to reclaim his throne. Mongol has determined that the surest way to take back his world is to first conquer the entire galaxy. So he comes with literally enough firepower to destroy your world. Yeah, he wants 
the humans to attack first, I'm assuming, so Mongol doesn't even get a chance to explain if he was ever going to. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied. Break the second up moon in with the sky. him. <laughs> Although there's panic across the country, the second moon is very distracting. I also we're already having a gravitational impact on the Earth. Tides have altered, guys. and so-called mini tidal waves. Guys, <laughs> this is the plot of Moonfall. Well, this is only the beginning. Unfortunately, the Reach only has this single ship. Designed for peaceful exploration and diplomacy and unequipped with any weapons. This dude is just in charge now? We pledge solidarity How? with the people of Earth. They're about to be like, so we flew in some big drone military ships that came very, very quickly. They definitely were not underwater. Or Aquaman is not investigating. But I am uninterested in negotiation. The Earth under the Reach's thumb is too dangerous for my long-term plans. It must be destroyed. And frankly, if you understood what you were in for with the Reach, you'd thank me for putting you out okay, of your Okay, but could you just misery. tell them that before you blow up the planet? Be like, <laughs> it's like, whoa, wind that back. What do you mean about the Reach's influence? Tell me more. <laughs> the whole intergalactic conqueror thing, let us know. Like, yeah, they figured out, at least, you know, the League has, that the Reach is up to no good, but this is not... The way to go about that. Hey, Florida. What do you mean? What's up, bro? Still inhabiting Zatanna's dad? Been a minute. Speaking of, where's Zatanna? This one guy. Enough firepower to destroy the Earth with this one freaking dude. It's being allowed to do stuff. I don't know why I'm like whispering. I'm just like, yay. Not sure we're doing much damage in the grand scheme. You're not. But Rocket's protecting but Dr. Fate, cool. allowing him to maintain focus on safeguarding Earth. And Captain Marvel, Green Beetle, and I seem to have Mongols' attention. Good. You're gonna try to sneak in? Because the team's already inside. Including Wolf, which is. <laughs> and Hamster Ball. So actually, I was about to say more important, so importantly, Wolf, but most importantly, Hamster Ball. Alpha Squad to Watchtower. Green Beetle schematics are on the. Because last time we saw Hamster Ball, uh, she was sinking into the ocean. So glad she's okay. Beta Squad is en route to the key chamber. We snag the crystal key, and the threat ends. Gamma Squad is en route to disable the War World's power core. No power, and the threat ends. Okay, you don't actually have to keep repeating it. We get it. How odd to be rooting for the champions of Earth. But everything depends on their success. This sucks. It would actually be so interesting if it went the other way around. But of course, Mongol couldn't just talk it out first. I like the heartbeat pulse to kind of measure how fast he's going. I like the attention! At least a big alien death moon notices when I'm around! <laughs> Was that a slam on me? In the middle of a mission? Woman, what are you not in the middle of a mission? It's semi-deserved, but also both of you need to just... You don't... You're not getting enough attention. You're not giving him enough attention. Just call it off. Maybe in the middle of a mission isn't the time. But the point needed to be raised. A little warning just might have been nice. a bit more explicitly. Take cover. <laughs> Eh. They bring Wolf to the weirdest missions. They're like, ah, we're gonna go fight a planet-sized war machine? I don't know, let's bring this wolf. This is your attack force? I'm insulted. Learn to cope. <laughs> well, oh! See what I mean? They bring Wolf on these missions and then just... Animal abuse. Where is their PETA trial? Did you truly believe yours was the only race to come from a world with a red sun? I also don't like that they brought Wonder Girl back just for her to get beat up. But that does raise an interesting question. Like, lots of us have a red sun. It's a sun. A bunch of planets the revolve around a sun. Encounter 
has officially worn off. Just drop the off gently. Nap time, ugly. That is assuming any toxins that would put a human to sleep would work. I like that. Oh, not the main back break. Unfortunate. Yeah. Your deaths today in the face of the Reach are a mercy. My grand laser emitter would have ended your world in a matter of minutes. Another mercy. But it seems the mercies of Mongol are not appreciated. So we will do this the hard way. And the war world will unleash all its weapons upon the earth. I don't want to say Thanos vibes, but very much Thanos vibes. But I mean, still, it wasn't like I'm not enjoying this, unlike the Thanos, like you guys pissed me off. So like this does put a smile on my face. But he keeps like hinting, hey, guys, the Reach is here to invade and take you over. And like, I'm doing you a favor. Just say that in a paragraph format and like email it to everyone. <laughs> No then the reach won't have control. Now I'm a bit, I kind of talked over what you just said, but it was mostly, you know, we're all about to die. So I think I got the gist. They're putting poor Dr. Fate to work. Fate, the League, and Delta are neutralizing 64% of the War World saturation attack at the source. That Earth's military forces will neutralize a further 13%. That is 78. Yeah. To decimate a hemisphere. 77. And spoil all Earth's meat to protect the Reach's investment. Mobilize the fleet. Okay. So are they gonna have to expose the fact that they have a military fleet on Earth? Like, how are they gonna explain that? After a bold face lying to everybody about, we have just this one humble ship. We come to you to explore. We have sacrificed two-thirds of our fleet to successfully safeguard the Earth for the time being. I don't know, I'm kind of tickled by the idea of them being invaded by a bunch of other aliens trying to destroy the Reach. Like, super sucks, you're just stuck super in the middle. Super sucks, got our backs! Love a lady I can count on! <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'm a bad girlfriend. Now quit pouting! Who's pouting? I'm not You're pouting, pouting. Let's just hard. Let's go. We need to follow the plan and shut the core down. Well, thank you for explaining Sir, this is not see I was with boyfriend. you. This You're is not the time. The get it done. What? I never said you were Ugh. It's like I was right there with you. I got it. I was supporting the fact that she was neglecting you. But don't be bitchy on a mission. We're gonna die. There it is. And there's its defenses. Uh this could take a while. Power keeps rerouting. Well, then reroute it somewhere useful. You're a genius. If he's psychically linked to the entire ship. Oh, there it is. I'll just kind of keep punching. A battle plan I can believe in. I'll say thank you, Karen. Uh, I don't. Let's say thank you, Bumblebee. I don't care. All surface weapons have been silenced. Is it over? Mongol is down and contained. I'd love to take credit, but we didn't do it. His own machine stung him. I'm guessing with a little help. <laughs> okay, if you take her back and she gave you a hug, you're weak, bro. <laughs> and I'll just take this uh -oh. for safekeeping. Yeah, don't let him souvenir the key to a giant war planet. That, no. I mean, I guess they we have took Dr. Price. Fate's helmet as a souvenir, I don't so. I believe we've acquired value for the cost. Yeah, maybe we should watch what the children are taking. Just a little bit. Now rendezvous ASAP so we can bring you home. Ooh, that was a gross anamorph transformation. But really, you save the day. You and that big, beautiful brain of yours. I get that she's a catch, but this is a mess. And I haven't wanted to admit it. To admit you've just outgrown me. Oh, wait, is he? But I'm an idiot, too. I've been taking you for granted. Well, the gang's all here. 
Come on, hamster ball. Did she take a nap? What's going on here? I will not be taken again. Yeah, what? Okay, Wolf would be gone. <laughs> like, I mean, he, he should have already been gone. If why? Don't waste the oxygen, hermano. If Hamster Ball got taken out, Wolf should be dead. <laughs> I'm happy he's not. Oh! Take the gun to the face. I'm disappointed in B for not going mini. I mean, he probably would have been able to see her, Quite but at least... value, indeed. Maybe she could have snuck away and not get fully knocked out? Okay, so... Blue has revealed his true colors. Uh... It's not a pun, but it kind of feels like one. Anyway, I was literally just making the joke of like, hey, do they check what these kids are souvenir taking? But it didn't seem like anyone was gonna stop him. Maybe when they got back to the base, but I mean, I, I guess there's the risk of it. So it's like, all right, this is a big enough prize that I'm gonna break cover early just cause we don't wanna risk losing the key to the big war planet. But I don't know, I feel like they could have done definitely could have kept the con going. I feel like this is too early. It is episode 15, you know, or what? Six to eight episodes away from the end of the season, so I guess they have to have the big turnaround so everyone can be betrayed again, because Calder's no longer the traitor of the team, so they need a new one. You have to wonder, like, is the Reach gonna start implementing their plan? Because now that they've blown their cover on having a military fleet on Earth, uh, they already have the two Beatles. Well, Green Beetle hasn't broken cover yet, but we have to assume that's gonna happen immediately after, because it's gonna be like, Green, I thought you fixed him. Like, Did I say fix him? I mean, made, you know, he, I fixed him, you know, but for crime. But it seems like they were anticipating a longer rollout period before Max Cattleification, uh, let's go with that, of humanity. So I don't know if maybe because they think, okay, we blew our cover, so let's just go for the goals and just, hey, now we have the key to this, you know, military planet. We can just take it by force now. Instead of having to do it the kind of the slow path of making them soft and malleable, let's just say we have a giant gun planet to your head. Work with us. We haven't seen uh, Gordon Godfrey, Gilbert Godfrey, um, J. Jonah, Tim Curry in a while. So I'm, I kept thinking that was gonna like roll into something, like stirring up anti-alien sentiment was gonna go into something. And then it turned into pro-reach sentiment. And it hasn't really paid off in either direction. We don't see humanity having any strong opinions on like not liking aliens or distrusting the league besides like the stuff with the UN. And obviously people seem cool with the reach and they're partnering with LexCorp and stuff, but I feel like, yeah, partnering with the Reach and liking the Reach is one thing, but I wanted to see if they were going to leverage that into turning against the League. And there's still time to do that, but you would have figured, even if it's like a couple scenes, a couple of non, oh God, I really can never remember his name, non Tim Curry scenes of like on the ground humans being like, I don't know, maybe the League is hiding something from us. They're a little suspicious. You know, like one rally or something. Cause we're still getting all these beautiful shots of Aquaman saving a baby. Like everyone's gonna love them for that. But is has there been some turnaround? I'm curious about that. I think it's really and genuinely weird that they were like, this is the episode to really explore Mel and Karen's relationship issues. Like obviously they've been dropping these little scenes with them throughout the season. And I was the, I've said a while, a couple episodes ago, I was like, girl, break up with him. You don't like him anymore. But I didn't think <laughs> they were A, going to really follow up and dig into it and B, do it during a mission, which is just like a man. And then C, go for them, for him to honestly do the mature thing of like, if you won't do it, I'll say it. I love you, I'm proud of you, but this isn't working. You've outgrown me and we're not in the same place anymore. Just for her to be like, no, your love and support means a lot, man. I'm like, I think it would have been really super mature 
for him to just say, even if you care for me, we're not in a relationship anymore. This is not how a relationship works. Let's just call it quits. Even if it's like not, you know, with any bad blood, like we can still care about each other, but it's, it's not gonna work out. And, but I feel like this was a, a very, you know, an easy fix, uh, which is, I think something I've, seen a lot with the shows like they give really complex like questions with ooh, there's so many directions they could take this and they're like what if they're just in love again because she saved the day i guess sure that's fine too uh, i'd like to see more of wonder girl because we saw her get beat up by lobo and then we saw her got beat up by bongo <laughs> and then beat up by blue beetle i want to see her successfully punch a dude in the face for once i think it'd be nice like she has all the basic Wonder Woman powers and abilities, I guess, but uh, with the new characters, I definitely feel like they could do a better job with the backstories. Like so far, Impulse has gotten the best one. Gar, we got a flashback, but that's kind of all we needed because we at least met him before and we knew his mother. I mean, even Karen, as much as like I'm having fun with her and her relationship problems, uh, when did she become Bumblebee? I was just like, I watched season one, I'm like, hey, she's gonna be Bumblebee one day. And in season two, she's Bumblebee. Okay. Like, I would like to just a little bit of a hint of like, especially if this is why I'm mad they did the relationship thing like during a mission. Because it's like, if you're gonna do the thing where I've been making constant jokes about Mal doing literally nothing, <clears throat> and now he's wearing a guardian suit, but whatever, uh, it's, it's, it felt like he just was dating this girl in high school, still in love with her. She became a superhero and he just came along with it's like he followed her to college and. He, like they weren't in the same place so it would be interesting if they are talking about their relationship for them to be like when you became a superhero I wanted to stay with you just throw it in there like a little line of like what happened why did she do that how did the, like when did she get a suit where she shrinks throw it in I don't know I would have appreciated that I think I am happy we saw the league again I think it's fun that the only reason it's taking so long is because they refuse to pay bribes which is just like, that is a good use of Superman. I'd actually would love to see if they all went back to their little jail cells and like half of the league is just like, can we just pay them? I wanna get out of here. They don't actually care what really happened. And then Superman would just be the only one like, guys, we can't do that. We can't accept bribes. We are a symbol of justice and truth and fairness and shit, you know? No bribes. And I don't know why Clark talks like that in my head, but he does. And I'm also happy that we get to see um John Stewart's reaction to hearing that the reach is on earth because obviously of all of them he has the most intergalactic knowledge he knows what of a threat they are um so hopefully that speeds them coming back to earth because he's like all right guys we need to wrap this ship up like that <laughs> ship we have to wrap this up we need to get back to earth because if the reach is there it's a bad situation going down I know it I feel it it's what's gonna happen we need to call uber or whatever the Green Lantern place is called. Oh, uh, whatever. You know, uh. But yeah, I kind of hope this is, you know, just the first volley in a long line of aliens coming to destroy the Reach and Earth getting caught in the middle. And then hopefully everyone on Earth will just realize the Reach, even if, even if they were good guys, they bring nothing but problems. You gotta go. <laughs> this is too much. We keep getting attacked and people keep trying to kill us because of you. Which also, by the way, they keep, you know, sliding in the fact that you're a massive threat to us and after the third time we're, we're kind of listening now we're thinking about that we have some concerns so i'd like to see how that unravels i really hope that the whole secret military fleet gets called out and addressed next episode because i'd be really disappointed if all of humanity is just really stupid and still thinks they're buds still thinks they're cool and grand um and i also hope we see calder again like he was making progress uh she said it would take like weeks for him to get better i haven't really been keeping track of the dates like i normally do but i feel like he should be in tip top ship shape by now if she was any good at her job which she is because i'm being nice to her she's a very talented telepath so i believe that she can fix him in a timely manner 
anyway so with that <laughs> i think we're gonna wrap this one up thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy this please like subscribe comment etc all those good things that make me very very happy if you don't want to do any of that but you've watched all the way to the end of this video thank you i still really appreciate you you can follow me on the bird app at leah sees movies and i'll catch you guys next time peace